Sample density gridding simply counts the number of control points within each cell and assigns the node value for the cell to the control point population within it. Advantages? Sample density gridding is useful for identifying undersampled and oversampled areas. It's useful for contouring relative frequencies such as well density and population distributions. The disadvantages are that it's very sensitive to the cell size, it's not useful for modeling structural surfaces or thickness values, and it should not be used in conjunction with the declustering option.